This is a tutorial for Baby Slicer 6.0, the beta version. Uh, first of all, I have to point out that this program will only work if you have an NVIDIA graphic card. Uh, presently on my computer, I've got a graphic card, which is a, let me, it's a GT4, uh, GeForce GTX 670, which is probably around the minimum I can use for that software. So it's a pretty slow graphic card compare with the models that they have right now it's I think it's about 100 to 120 dollars on eBay so that will work that'll do but if you have a better one it's even better so this is baby slice so I'm gonna drop a data set on it it's a spherical data set but that doesn't matter if it's baby slice so we'll take it and you can see immediately in real time the polygons reconstructed from that data set well, of course, there's a lot of noise, there's placenta and things like that. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to filter up the image a little bit so that it looks cleaner. Okay. After that, we can adjust our threshold mm -hmm. until we're satisfied. We'll be able to change that later on also, but it's the first draft. Okay. Now. We need to get rid of all the noise and everything outside that it's not my baby. So first of all, we have a few pieces of, uh, of polygons here that we can remove easily with the cleanup program. The cleanup will remove all the unconnected uh, surfaces. So I click on the surface I want to keep, in this case the baby, and I delete everything else. Okay. That's the first step. Then I can go and edit, and with a brush, I have three options, remove, fill, and gray. I'm going to start with remove. The remove edit mode is a, a masking the voxels that I don't want. So it's tagging the voxel, telling them, I don't want this voxel. It doesn't even look at the gradle value in it. As you can see, it's a little bit slow on my machine. But that's okay. I've got here in region of interest, first of all, I can limit the uh, region where I work, so that would be faster. Mm -hmm. Or what I can do also is I can use those buttons here, normal, fast, faster, and fastest. What it does, it subsample the uh, data sets, so it creates less polygons. Each uh, voxel here represents four by four by four voxel of the original data set. So now if I go and edit, I can go a lot faster and I can even take a big brush, a lot of pressure and remove happily everything that I don't want. Okay. Move this a little bit. Now the brush is a sphere that is dropped on the polygons. And you can adjust the pressure that it goes more or less deep in the polygons. And you can see in blue the polygons that will be affected. So that's very handy because I can see that, for example, here I don't want to touch my hand. So those polygons are not on the hand yet. And now I'm touching the hand, so I'm going to stop here. If I go around here, I can remove those polygons. They're on top of the hand. And the brush, of course, goes deeper in the, uh, in the object when you remove the polygons, when you remove any obstacles in front of it. Like for example here, I'm removing polygons in front of the baby, but then up, oh, I'm touching the baby, so I'm stopping here. Okay. And if you remove too much, for example here, I'm gonna remove part of the baby, something, the face of the baby, the right button bring back the uh, what you've removed. So it's not a tragedy. You can always edit back. Okay, let's clean up this here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster because it's just a, uh, a tutorial, it doesn't have to be perfect. And also I'm not very good at this. Okay. Ah, I've removed instead of... Uh, Okay, add back, okay, maybe a little bit more here. And, and once you're more or less satisfied, you can bring back the f previous resolution uh, 
those buttons here, they are mapped also on the keyboard to F5 to F8. So this is all the voxels. And I can see my baby. There's still some noise here. I can continue my edit. And since I've removed a lot of voxels, it's faster now. Even with my graphic card, I'm able to get real time. Whoops, I didn't want that. Okay. Uh, maybe just a little bit more here. I'm gonna be, I don't want to reach perfection. Okay, so this is the idea of the uh, mask. Oh, I want to remove this here, so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Now, the other option in uh, paint is the gray. This, instead of uh, touching the mask, I'm going to touch directly the gray level values. And with this, I can modify the uh, image itself. Like, for example, the eye. If I look at the eye of the baby here, the uh, right eye doesn't seem to be very nice. There's a bump on it. So I can come in here and reduce the gray level values of this region. Let's put it pressure to one. It's going to be faster until I'm satisfied. Again, I'm, I must mention that I'm not very good at this. Uh, probably too big a brush. I can come in here and fill in those small holes that I've created. It's sculpting and I'm not an artist. Same thing, I can probably fix up any the problem I have with my arm. There's still a lot of uh, noise here. I can do a, uh, a cleanup pass just to remove polygons, unconnected polygons. Go back and edit. Okay, now there's a uh, an hole, hole in my arm. I can come in here, fill it up by editing the gray levels. Okay, uh, once a polygon have been masked, removed, I cannot bring them back with the gray level, but I can decrease the uh, values here until it matched the rest of the, uh, the harm. So I could probably smooth out uh, all of these things here. Okay, once you've satisfied with that, that's your baby. Now, I want to add a, oh, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. I want to remove this bump. You'll probably want to ba add a backplane behind the baby and maybe a, a base also, something like that. So for this, we have the projection mode. Okay, When we are in projection mode, the, pers the uh, point of view is now parallel. We uh, don't have any perspective anymore. And the idea is that we're going to go, let's see, behind the baby here. I'm in projection and I'm going to project all of these voxels. Oops, there's a, yeah. all of these, there's a clip plane here. I need to, uh, to move my image further, yep. Still more. Okay, these. Careful not to get the harm. Okay, let's suppose that this would be my projection plane. So if you look at it now, we've projected the uh, behind the baby. I can probably do the same thing at the bottom. I just don't want to get the harm. So I'm going to go in region of interest and I'm going to protect. Now it's the arm. So I want just the base of the baby. The base here. I'm going to look at it from the bottom. Go in projection and project this. like this. So now mm -hmm, that's what I want. Go back in region of interest. You can bring back the baby. Okay, now I want to add a back plane. I'm going to do this by using the region of interest to keep just the back of the baby. I can probably also clip it in the other direction so that 
it's uh, limited to behind the baby like this let's see yeah that's my baby I can look at the grade level value of the baby here with the F1 to F4 key I've got the different uh, values F2 to F4 are actually show me the tag values so the masks that I've used and things like that F1 is just a grade level okay now that I'm satisfied with it I'm gonna go in edit and then now I'm gonna use the fill uh, fill mode which I can use a big brush for this and then this is going to fill out masked uh, it's going to tag all those voxels as filled I can use a big brush okay let's look at the other side okay fill it out here and that's my back plane so if I go back in region of interest and put back my baby there's my baby with my back plane okay now that would be my uh, my shape if I want to print that I'm almost ready but a few things left let's see in the region of interest if I remove the back plane I can see that inside the baby here I have a hole I uh, so f next step will be to fill out those holes like this now all the holes inside the, the shape are filled but if I print it this way it's gonna take a lot of uh, lot of plastic or whatever the media is that you're gonna use so I'm gonna next step is the optimized media where I can say okay my shape is gonna be empty and I can select the thickness of the wall uh, thickness of one is probably playing with fire it's gonna be way too thin let's say tree for example or I'd, I have no idea what it would need but this of course will create a shape that's going to be very fragile because it's completely empty so what I can do I can create a frame inside that shape I'm gonna just put one here so that we can see it a little bit better so it's a structure that's gonna be inside and fill out all the the, the holes inside the uh, the baby so we can actually work with uh, different thickness of the structure itself different spacing between the uh, the mesh of the structure and we can have just a uh, frame like this or chambers which are walls vertical horizontal and in the other plane also okay so you have to your choice so now if we go back in region of interest remove our, our clip planes we can see and okay this is the shape okay inside of it it's it's empty but it looks like this and the next step would be just to export it export to file and you select a STL ASCII or STL binary form and you just click save and you've got your STL file. So this is Baby Slice All.